Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to be exploring the node package manager and hopefully by the end of this video you should understand more or less what it's about. So before proceeding go ahead and download this latest version here and uh, once you get that installed continue this video. So this index uh, HTML, uh, I'm going to open the view folder and I'm going to make a new folder. So um view core and i'm actually going to go tutorial and uh, i'm going to make another new folder i'm going to do view npm tutorial okay and i'm going to go in here and i'm actually going to close code and i'm going to open it here actually yeah, I'll, I'll I'll still open code. So let's open. I'll open PowerShell window, but I might do my code initialization here. So right now I'm in the view npm tutorial. So this is just where my uh, uh, VS Code is pointed at. I'm gonna close my PowerShell window here, and let's open up a command line. So this command line doesn't necessarily have to be in your VS Code. You can use your PowerShell, you can use your uh, regular Windows command line, you can use Bash. But basically, first of all, let's type in npm. So if you get this uh, <clears throat> text displayed here, Node Package, Man Man Package Manager installed successfully, and you're good to go. The first, uh, So these are the commands that we can use. And uh, to explore them, you can type in something like npm run, Help. So run is one of the commands, and it will basically output some information about that. And you can generally he uh, see here uh, how to uh, basically get help about these commands. So I'll clear this, and like a true hacker, I'm actually going to open CMD. And again, like a true hacker, there we go. Kind of, kind of. In other words, if you're not typing in the console like a hacker, you know. Are you really are you really programming? So again, let's type npm and let's take a look at the commands. So the first command that we're going to look at is init, init, which stands for initialization. So let's type in npm, not int, but rather init. Cool. And now we get like a little prompt. Uh, so package name, view npm tutorial. Yeah, I'll take that version one description view with npm tutorial uh, yes test command none get keywords author i don't need any of that. just go through that so let's take a look at our package.json so no author we we get a bunch of information here that we sort of input it through the command line and the main thing i want to look at right now is the scripts that tag so you basically in here in in the script tag you define some scripts that you want to, the node package manager to run. So let's open the command line. I'll clear this and let's run npm run test. So this test correlates to the name of the script here. Let's run it. And here you can see it outputs error no test specified and exits with code one. So anything more than code zero is basically an error. And let's just change this to hello world and exit code zero so we don't get an error. And again, let's clear and npm run test. <clears throat> cool, so we get hello world and this is basically, so the idea, the idea that you should get is that uh, this is just some command that is gonna get executed in this terminal, same as we do npm run build. We can. This is sort of its own environment with uh, a. I'm not gonna go too deep into that. Actually, you, you you will see what I'm on about. All you need to know is that npm run test is these scripts that we define here and uh, so on. So the thing we can do here. Next is we can install packages. So the JavaScript world is an abundant world of packages and there are so many different ones, you can not possibly know them all. There are a few core ones that 
are very popular, like Vue, Angular, React, Webpack, and a few others. But yeah, basically, let's get going. So let's install a package. So we were using Vue, and this tutorial is about Vue. So let's npm install Vue. All right, cool. So what ha what happened? Now we have a node modules folder, and we have a package lock json so don't worry about package log json you never really need to look at it so let's instead take a look at node module node modules and in here we can see view and this is the whole uh, view library so you remember when we added the cdn this is basically it so this is what you get in the cdn so just like before let's make a index.html page and let's render our template and then here let's create our app like we did before we're going to display a message and at the bottom let's make a script tag if i can type today and source is going to be dot slash and then you hopefully you get a little help helpful navigation so node module slash view dist for distribution so and then here we can access view.js so minified you don't get any console logging so we're not going to opt for that so it's optimized so view.js is where it's the development environment and we can get some helpful logging in uh, the console this and same as before Let's do script var app equals new view. Element slash app and data message and just a humble hello world. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, reveal this in Explorer, open my browser and drop this in here. And here we see hello world. And let's took a, take a look at the console. So here you can see this message from Vue.js that we're using uh, the development environment and that's because we're using Vue.js. And if we would have used the minified version, let's refresh this, you see we get no console logging. So. So actually, let's take a look at our package.json, right? So in here, we have dependencies now, OK? And this dependency is view. So this is what we get in our nodes module folder. So if we remove this, you can see that our folder here doesn't really disappear. But let's open our terminal and let's run npm install. So this is now when we press npm install is going to run through our package.json and it's going to adjust our node modules folder accordingly and you can see it's now removed and if you don't want to do npm install view you can alternatively do the same here so view you can see you can get a little bit of intelligence about the packages and then the versions and just something like this and then you can do npm install again and there we see we get our view, uh, what's called our uh, view module again. This will be it for this episode, and uh, hopefully you get a clearer picture of how npm works. And if you still don't, don't worry. We're there is not much really to know package manager, and it's really all you're doing is managing your dependencies, the ones that are going to go live, and the ones that you're going to be using for your development environment. If you're enjoying this series, guys, press a like, subscribe if you want more, and as always, any questions, leave them in the comments.